visually pleasing. Lack of authenticity, authenticity. Marvel's Phase Five antagonists. This movie was a good watch. It definitely wasn't a classic, but it definitely was a film that you would put under the popcorn category. This was a very good popcorn movie, a very good, enjoyable popcorn movie. A film that you should take your family to watch, a film that you should take your girl to watch because I was surprised. There was a lot of couples in the theater. I don't know why that surprised me, but it did. Look, it wasn't a great film because I did feel like at times the acting lacked authenticity, especially when they were trying to convey emotions. But CGI that was used was mesmerizing at times. I can't lie to you. Um, especially in the possibility scene. That scene was cold. Cold. <sighs> My last point. Marvel's Phase 5 antagonist. Firstly, before I even get into him, Kang, let me just say well done to Jonathan. We've got the same name, Jonathan. So if you're watching this, you did us Jonathan's proud. Which is a bit ironic, because if you watch the movie, there's a lot of Jonathan's in the film too. But look, bro, Jonathan, your performance was freaking chilling. At times, it, he, he will give you that shudder feeling. That's how cold he was. He was chilly. But, but, but. His character makes you wonder and leaves you asking a lot of questions. You get mixed feelings about his character. And the reason why I got mixed feelings about Kang is because Building up to this film, I saw a lot of movies where people were comparing him to Thanos. They were saying how he was stronger than him. And watching him in this film, I thought he was a weakling. Like when he, when he was first introduced, I'm like, yo, this guy's going to be cold. Even watching him from the trailer, he looked like he was strong. But I, I don't know much about Thanos. I'm not really big into the comics. Even though I've watched all the Marvel movies, I'm not really big into the comics. So I don't know Kang's history. But... From what I saw in the trailer, he, he looked good, but he didn't look strong. And of course, his um, speciality is time. He can manipulate time. So I wasn't expecting him to be a brute, a brute force like freaking Thanos. But I was just expecting more than what I saw in this film, which I was a bit disappointed. But at the end, after the credits, it made me think and it made me wonder, okay, what next? What's next? Which is something I applaud this film because it will definitely have you dumbfounded, especially if you haven't watched series like such as Loki and One Division. I haven't watched them, but people are saying you need to watch them in order to understand the end scene. Hmm. Like even now, I'm trying to think. Why are people like, why is this guy so strong? Because from what I saw, bruv, little spoiler, the guy got defeated by ants. Literally. So, mm, I don't know, mixed feelings about Kang. But I wouldn't say those mixed feelings are swaying towards a negative side. I would say they're quite positive and I'm looking forward to see more of Kang. I'm borderline excited which is a good thing i was just disappointed of the kang that was given to us in this film but it makes sense because it wouldn't this is like what it's pretty much the start of phase five so of course they're not going to give us too much but yeah i just couldn't see like pretty much when i watch i'm like this guy isn't touching thanos he's not touching him fam. i don't know what people are talking about but he's not touching thanos but based on the ending and based and bruv, he's the phase 5 antagonist, so clearly my man's got more to him than what we've been shown. That's what I'm excited to see. Yeah. This is definitely a popcorn movie. A popcorn movie that you will enjoy. So I do recommend you guys go and watch. Yeah. Bye.